Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks to those of you on the live stream. Thanks. You might be watching the recording later. Um, I had a really nice chance to connect with a couple really close people yesterday, close friends, teachers, um, and that was really nice. And I also got this little number in the mail from Stacy. It is an old uh, willpower method bracelet. My 24 year old self is like screaming, just so excited. I'm also excited. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I wanted to teach this class for so long, like, so so long, <laughs> but I knew that there would be a period of time where I wasn't going to be that great at teaching and I just didn't really want to go through that. And so I just didn't teach for like 10 years <laughs> and I, you know, came to the realization that you kind of have to sometimes not be great at something for a while <laughs> until you get better at it, right? So that's why it's called a practice. Um, and this has been my personal practice for so, so, so long. I think it's an incredible, incredible class. And uh, yeah, whatever you want to call it, the willpower method, cardio yoga, the repetitive sequence that we get to engage in and work on cardio is just great right this was also the first time that i felt like i found a cardiovascular workout that i really liked i thought that cardio was just a thing that you had to suffer through and get through and everyone hated it but class like this i was like oh this is why people work out like this is why people run marathons like this is why people do that because it does after a while getting used to it it does feel really nice so we're going to be doing a more cardio based class today, a little bit more in that willpower genre. So you want a nice open space, uh, water, probably uh, feel free to take breaks as you need. You can slow it down as you need to. I'm going to be working with the beat of the music, but also going to be showing a couple different levels that you can take throughout class if you would like. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Come right to the center of the space. And just take a nice deep breath in. Okay. Get nice and settled. Nice and rooted, nice and grounded. Let's reach up, please. All the way up, mountain pose. Bring your feet together so your heels are touching, your ankle bones are touching. Mountain pose. Let's get started with just a few sun salutations. So we'll inhale up and then exhale, swan dive down. You can grab a block here if you'd like. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Do that again. Inhale. Swan dive down on the exhale. If you can face a mirror, or sorry, a mirror or a window while you do that, um, this will be feeling really good. Inhale, half lift. Nice straight spine and exhale, forward fold. So a window out facing the sun that might be coming. Inhale, reach up, mountain pose. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up, all the way up. Please hold it at mountain pose. Toe heel those feet out, so they're about hip width apart. And now bring your hands back behind you. Interlace your fingers. And just begin lifting those toes up and down. Up and down. I start teaching this class to this uh, group of high school students, high school track team here at Relative. That starts next weekend. I'm very excited about that. So lift and spread those toes. We're trying to get space in between all 10. Lifting and spreading. Try to keep your hands clasped together and all the way down. Right, that's really going to help a lot with your posture. So keep lifting and spreading those toes. Let's hold this next one up. Spread them out as wide as you can. And now try to just tap that big thumb toe down into the ground and up. Everything else stays very still. The ankles stay still. You're just isolating it to your big thumb toe. Big thumb toe. Hold this next one all the way up. Spread them out nice and wide, and now just have your pinky toe. Okay, 
right? This takes a while. There's no like skipping through this part where you look down at your toes and you tell them to do something, they don't do it. You just have to keep doing it over and over and over. They will eventually do what you tell them to. So now go back and forth. The pinky toe, the thumb toe, pinky, thumb. Working back and forth again. The ankles stay really still here. The toe rainbow challenge is to hold the big thumb toe down and the pinky toe down at the same time. Okay. The middle ones are lifted up and I'll try to spread those middle ones out as much as you can. Yes. All right. Lower those down. Begin to lift your right heel up and down, please. So if you think about the feet having sort of a kinetic effect up your body, hold right heel up. Roll across that landing pad. We want to keep our ankles healthy. Shins, Achilles tendon, knees, all the way up. Lower that right heel down, lift your left heel up and down. So a nice deep foot fold here in class. We do this quite a bit in the cardio yoga sequence. Hold this next one up and roll across. Good morning, Chris and Laura. Lower that heel down, and now we will begin to rock the ankles out and roll the ankles in. So as you rock out, right, you might notice that nice deep stretch on the sides of your calves. Thanks, right? And now roll them in. Your knees kind of come together here. So rock out and roll in. Then when you're ready, meet me with flat feet. Right. All ten toes pointed forward. Now lift all ten toes up and then grip the ground with your toes. Lift all ten toes up and grip. So your arch starts to lift and you start to get really nice and rooted and grounded. If you can think about a place outside that you really like to be and what it would feel like to be outside, barefoot, what that would feel like under your feet. Right? Really, really, really grounded. Nice grounding exercise. Reach up, although it's very cold right now, or at least where I am. Hold it up here. Now begin to roll those shoulders up and back. You can relax your toes if you haven't already. So begin by rolling those shoulders up and back. Take a look at your elbows. You're trying to create circles on the sides of the walls with those elbows. Thumbs are pointed back. You're really starting to open up through your chest here as you do this. Let's hold the next one back. Now open up nice and tall. Yes. Flex those biceps. Taste it out. Take a nice deep breath in. And then an audible exhale out. Reach up, mountain pose. Bring your heels together, please, and exhale, forward fold. Swan dive down. Inhale, half lift the spine, nice and straight. And exhale, forward fold. So you see the difference between the two, right? The round spine, the straight spine. Inhale, reach up, mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. We'll hold the next one up in mountain, please. Toe heel, those feet out. They're about as wide as your hips. Press those hips forward. Squeeze your seat. Really squeeze your seat. Lean back as far back as you can go. And now bend your knees. Sweep down and sweep up. So keep going, please. As you drop your head, I'd like you to think about the longest, deepest, fullest exhale that you have given yourself yet today. <sighs> and it might come out in kind of like a, <sighs> right? Like you might make a little bit of sound with it. That's okay, right? Who cares? It's okay. 
pull this next one up at the top, please. Bring your fingertips behind your head. Begin to tip down to the right, and then the left. So right and left, tipping from side to side. This is what it looks like from the front. Most of you know this already. Hold it down to the right, and now slide around to the front. We're in the half lift, straight spine, and then come up to the left. So down, slide, core is engaged, and up. Down, slide around. Full circle here. I really recommend keeping that spine nice and straight. And hold your next one up at the top. Push those hands forward and tuck your chin down. Oh man. So how is your upper back doing? How's the neck doing? Pull back and look up, reach up. Oh well, no, sorry, not reach, but look up. Your chin is pointed up and your hands are back. So push and pull. So start syncing this up. One movement gets an inhale, the other one gets an exhale. If you can think about the amount of time we all spend, keep going please, throughout the week, with our heads down like this, and our shoulders kind of hunched over, and our neck, right? So start to exaggerate each of these movements. I'd like you to hold it back, hands back, chin up, eyes up, take a nice deep breath in, and audible out, hands come back behind your head please, tip down to the left, and down to the right, so left, and right, trying to get that elbow down by your hip as much as you can, hold it down to the left, and now slide around to the front and slide up to the right. Oof. Down. Slide around and up. So this is our spinal warm-up, is what it's called in the cardio yoga sequence. And I love that the spine gets a whole section devoted to it. We'll hold this next one up at the top, please. Bring your hands down to your thighs, toe heel your feet out. A little bit wider than hip distance this time. And now bend those knees. Let's do some standing cat and cows, okay? So cat, you tuck your chin down by your chest. Cow, you open up, your tailbone comes back and you lift your chin. So you tuck that tailbone under, and then you open up here. So round the spine, and open. Again, starting to sync up your movement with your breath. This is where the yoga really comes into play. Meet me in the center in a neutral spine, please. All right, so nice and long. And now just drop your right shoulder down and then drop your left. So really working through our shoulders here, trying to stack your shoulders one on top of the other. All right, we're about to get moving, y'all. I know. We can do it. You hit play or you're here live streaming. We're going to do it. All right, so bring your fingertips down to the ground, please, or using a block, perhaps. Hang out upside down. Lift those heels up and down. Up and down. I do recommend folks use the blocks if they get motion sick, right, pretty easily. Otherwise, if you feel okay, but just kind of uncomfortable, right, we're gonna hang out upside down. Now hold those heels up, move the block out of the way, and then walk yourself forward into a plank position. Oh yeah, big theme here in class too, is the core strength. 
So press through your heels, right? So your heels are kind of energetically pressing toward the back of the room. Make sure that your hips are in alignment with your shoulders. Okay, so we're not dropping too far down. We're not in a little down dog. It's really nice and solid and straight. Hold this here. Breathe. Audible exhales. Yes, it will help. Four, three, two, hips up and walk back. Hang out upside down. Stretch those wrists. Nice deep stretch. This time, bring your fingertips back down to the floor, possibly on a block. Lift both landing pads up. Can you see that? It's a slight rock back on your heels. As you lift those landing pads up, try to spread your toes out really wide. Space in between all 10 toes. Hold this next one up, both landing pads up. Spread the toes nice and wide. Bring them back down to the ground. Lift your heels up. Move the block out of the way. And walk forward again. One, two, three, four, five. This time, I'd like you to bring your index fingers to touch and your thumbs touch. And you create this beautiful little heart on the ground. The last adjustment is to bring your beating heart over the heart on the floor. You can come down to your knees at any point. Okay, as long as the hips are in front of the knees. And hold that there. So it is a practice, yes? How far have you already come though, right? So hold this here, really press into that heart on the ground. Feel the connection between the one in your body and the one that you are making on the floor. Hold it here. Find your breath. Four, three, two, hips up. Walk back. Hang out upside down. Toe heel those feet together. Ankle bones are touching. Slight bend in the knees and you begin to roll your body up. Your head comes last. Slowly, take your time. All the way up. All right, I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. Oh man. I doubt myself all the time in this class, you know? Like, oh my God, I don't know. You can do it. We're gonna begin with the squat sequence. <sighs> toes are pointed forward, knees over toes. Down, up, down, and up. <sighs> like you to try to squeeze your seat at the top. <sighs> down, exhale. Little, little change comes next. It's a little step forward on your right foot. It looks like this. Step forward and back, forward, back. So you land on your landing pad and your back heel lifts. Down, tap. A little bit of a nicer lunge. A wider lunge, you sink down. Let's hold the next one down, please, as I catch the beat. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So that back heel stays lifted. And you stand up nice and tall. Down, up. Last time, begin to tap back. Down, tap. 
tap. So as you come out, you land without a sound and you press back up, down, reach. You can try lifting that right foot and play with your balance if you like. Look front, look up, look up. Two more please and we'll hold it at the top. Hold this next one up at the top. Test your balance. So really test yourself as if you were falling and you only had your right leg to stabilize the fall or to catch you. There you go. Nice work. Such a good thing to practice because it happens all the time. So bring your hands together, please. Right foot is down on the ground, possibly up on your calf, maybe up on your thigh. Take a second, check in with your heart. Exhale, press out. Come back in. Exhale. Really clearing your space. Come back. Last time. Hold it out. Squat and tuck is next. Squat, tuck, squat, tuck. Inhale, exhale. Nice. Chris, welcome back. Down, up, reach. Down, reach up. Down, reach. So you can keep it here in the squat and tuck, or you're lifting that right foot up. Down, reach. Four more times, please. Press off your thighs. Two. Last time, squat out and in. Out, in, out, in. Add a challenge. That base heel lifts. You can try floating. Watch the landing. That's all that I ask. <laughs> Take whatever level you would like to bring your heart rate up. But land silently. Four more times. Two. Hold it in the center, please. Squat down and open. Down, open up. Press your hips forward. Lift your heels up. Down, heels up. And reach. Fly going on. Down, reach. Inhale, exhale. Four more times, please. Four, reach up tall. Last time, just squat center. Find your breath. Try to keep the beat. Down, up. Squeeze your seat. Four more times. Two, last time. Bring your hands to your hips, please. Squat down and turn out. Squat forward, turn out. So it's my feet, right? Front, out, pivot on your heel. Hold this next one out. Step out nice and wide. And now sing down into goddess. So this is our little recovery, the little cardio recovery here. Okay, bring your hands together. Press them into your heart. And now begin to lift your right heel up and down, left heel up and down, right heel up, left heel up, both heels. Up, down, up. Hold the next one up. Hold them up really high. 
You might need to bring your feet a little bit closer together. As you begin to sink down, spine is nice and tall. Pulse is here. Four, three, two, heels down and stand up nice and tall into a five pointed star, a power posture. So holding this here, I'd like you to come back up onto your landing pads, lift your heels, squeeze your calves, your quads, your glutes, everything turns on here, right? All of the energy sort of coming up, squeezing everything, and now reaching up really, really tall, as tall as you can get, right? Hold this here, reach with your fingertips, Find your breath. We'll put the two together. So down for two and up for two. You can stay right here or down, up, down, up, down, heels up. Inhale, exhale. If you'd like, you can try to float. Right? And really jumping up as high as you can go. You can try one jump or two. But notice the landings, right? When you're ready, please meet me down low. Hands together. They come down to your thighs. Toe heel those feet out nice and wide. And now begin to slide from side to side. So here's the side view. We start right here. Over time, hip hinge forward. Flat back, tabletop position, sliding from side to side to side. And you're gliding from side to side. <laughs> Laura, do you remember this one, right? Doing this in a room full of people. I bet it was awesome. Side to side. Actually, I know it was awesome because I experienced it. Yes. Hold this next one to the right. Toe heel that right foot in. So it's right underneath you. Okay. Shoulders over knee, knee over toes. Squat down and stand up. Squat down. A little bit faster. Down and up. I'd like you to begin by lifting that left elbow up. Down, up. Elbow up. Down and twist. Down and twist. I'm gonna turn this music up just a little bit. Down, twist. So you're wringing this out. You can open up your arm as you twist around. Down, twist. So seeing what's back behind you, yes? Everything that led you to be right here today. Last time, down, up, down, up. You're pressing yourself up. Down and press, heel lifts, down and float. Down, float, flex your right foot down and really press up. So exaggerate this one, land without a sound. How far up can you get that right leg? Down and tuck. Down, right foot tucks in. Down, press up. Down and reach up. Down, reach. Really, really, really tall at the top. Down. 
Four more times, please. Reach all the way through your fingertips. Two, hold this next one at the top. Hold it, catch it. And now test it again. Test the balance on your left foot, your left leg, the whole left side of your body. Come back into center. And find your tree pose, please. Right knee pointed out to the side. Right foot maybe on your calf, maybe up on your thigh, maybe down on the ground, staying grounded. Present, rooted, hands together, exhale. Palms up, look up, reach up, and come right on in. One, two, three, in. Exhale out. Exhale out, there you go. And in, two, Last time, please. One more time. One, two, three. Hold it in the center. Bring that knight, uh, right knee forward, excuse me. And step back and open up into warrior two, please. So your right foot is at a 45 degree angle. Left foot is pointed forward. Reach out, warrior two. Reach up, peaceful warrior. Come back to warrior two, please. Lift your right heel, pivot, maybe in crescent. Hold crescent pose. Interlace your fingers, steeple grip. Index fingers are up. Slide over to the left. Back to center, stretch over to the right. Come back to center, try to kick off that back foot and then catch it in your right hand. You can also try to catch underneath that knee. Hold this stretch. And slowly lower that foot down. Inhale, reach up. Mountain pose, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Again, inhale. And exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Hands come together right down to prayer. I'm going to grab a sip of water. All right, here we go. That whole thing, again, on the left side. I know. Take it up. Take it up with Stacy. Okay? Find the beat. Here we go. Begin in a squat. Down, up. Down, up, press up, there you go. Squeeze your seat at the top. Two more and then we'll step forward, step forward, step, tap, step, tap. So your left foot this time, coming forward, squatting down, lunging down, two knees, two different planes of motion. In, hold this next one down, down, up. Back heel stays lifted. Whole time. Down, up. Two more times. Begin to tap back. Down, tap, right heel up, right heel down. It's kind of a workout for your brain. Down, up, down, reach. Lizzie, what's up, girl? Welcome. Just started on the left side. Down, reach. Inhale, exhale. Two 
two more times, please. Hold the next one up here. And now try to test your balance on your right foot. Yeah. Might be a little bit more tired than what you were before. Probably a little more dehydrated. Still test it. Stay with me. Stay with me. Hands come together. Right at your heart. Left foot down or up on your calf. Exhale. Come back in. Exhale. Try closing your eyes here. Just try it. Grip into the ground with your right toes. Squat and tuck is next. Squat, tuck, down, and tuck. Down, up. So watching the landings, maybe lift your left foot. Down and reach. Reach up. Down. Reach. Engage your triceps here. Look front. Look up. Four more times, please. Two. Last one. Out and in. Out. In. Out. Double squat is what it's called. Let's actually hold it in for a second. Make sure that those ankle bones are touching, knees are touching, thighs and calves squeezing together. Get back in. Out, in, out. Squeeze in the center. Try lifting that right heel. As you start to float, floating, possibly jumping. Watch the landings, please. Find your level. Four, three, two, meet me in the center. Down, up. Down, reach up. Reach. Exhale at the top. Lift your heels up. Heels up, down, up. If anyone wants to join me for one quick burpee, down, step out, step in, up. I'll do that two more times. If anyone wants to join me. Down, up. I hope somebody did. Those are rough alone. Down, up. Two more times, please. And meet me in a regular squat. Down, up. Toes front, toes out. Toes front, toes out. Pivoting on your heels. Hold this next one out. Step out nice and wide. And meet me please in a hip opener. If it feels good for you today, go stick your tailbone out behind you. Knees are tracking over toes. You can bring your forearms down. Gently press your knees back. And hang out right here in the hip opener. Thing as a perfect class or practice or anything. It's unattainable. Hands to your thighs. Slowly work yourself up. Tuck your tailbone now underneath you. So we're back in goddess pose. Sink your tailbone low. Really root it in here. Just like the feet, the base of the spine. Also rooted. Both heels up 
and down, up, down, hold the next one up, sink down lower, pulse, eight, mm -hmm. four, three, two, heels down, and reach up tall, shake your legs out, shake them out just a little bit, now get them underneath you, lift those heels up, Again, the five-pointed star, holding it here. Sometimes we just need to do this pose, you know, especially keep holding this place, especially if we're kind of like hunched in most of the day, right? Or if we're trying to stay warm outside, we have a tendency to kind of hunch in. I want you to really open this up, exaggerate it, reaching up as tall as you can and then coming down, putting them together, down, up, down, reach. Heels up, heels down, heels up. If you'd like to float and try it out and engage your core and land silently, you can certainly try it. It might not be perfect. But at least you tried, yeah? Hold this next one down. Hands to your thighs. Toe heel those feet out. Left and right. Sliding side to side. And hip hinging forward. Look from side to side, please. So as you lunge to the left, look to the left. Side to side. I invite you to reach now. Reach from side to side. Floating. Very graceful here. Hold it to the left. Hold it to the left. Toe heel, toe heel that foot in. Knee tracks over toes. Here we go. Down, up, down, and stand up. It's a single leg squat. You're gonna feel it a lot in your left glute. Down, elbow up, right elbow up. Begin to twist, down, twist. Inhale, exhale on the twist. You can certainly slow these down if you need to. Meet me back in our single leg squat. Down, up, down, press up, heel down, heel up. You've been here a million times, right? Down and you press up every time. You find the will, yeah? You find the way. Come down and press yourself up. Down, tuck that foot in. Down, tuck. Inhale, reach at the top. Reach up nice and tall. Land without a sound. Give me four more, please. Reach up, stick the landing on this last one. Hold it here. And test it. And it's it. I mean, it does, you know. We fall a lot. It's all right. Come back. Hands come together. Left foot out in tree pose. Possibly up on your calf. Try to keep your hips level here. Find your tree. Find your heartbeat. Exhale, press. Out, palms up, look up, reach up, and come on in. Up tempo. One, two, three, and four. Exhale out, palms up. So, what are you maybe gently with some love clearing from your space? 
doesn't have to be like super aggressive, but firm. Exhale out to reaching up and bringing in. What is that for you, huh? Last time. One, two, three. Hold it here. Knee comes forward. Leg steps back, foot steps back, left foot. Right toes pointed forward. Open up into the warrior two. So align your feet, please. Front heel intersects that back arch. And you reach out nice and tall, nice and long. Exhale, reach up. Peaceful warrior. Come back to warrior two. Let's do that again. Reach up, peaceful warrior. Back to warrior two. Lift that left heel. Pivot slowly into crescent. Hold this nice crescent pose. Maybe scooch that left foot back a little bit. You'll start to feel that stretch kind of going down your left quad as you reach up. Steeple grip. Lay a steeple grip with your hands. And slide over to the right. Nice deep stretch going down the left side of your body. Come back up. Side stretch over to the left. Come back to center. Find a focal point that's not going to move. As you kick off that back foot, Try to catch it in your left hand. If you're near a wall, feel free to just hold on to the wall for this, okay? If you'd like to try more of a balance, you can try heading into bow, pulling pose, dancer's pose. I'm not going to do that today. If you want to take it, go for it. Hold it here, feel that nice deep stretch. And now slowly release that foot. And drop it back down. Inhale, reach up, mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Hands come together right down to your heart. We have some time for just a little bit of flexible strength. I'm going to grab my blocks. Just a little bit that's going to feel so good after what we just did, all right? You deserve to have this little, this nice little cool down stretch. Okay, just trying to find the right place to stand here. Let's see, reach up. High as tall mountain. Exhale. Hold your body forward. Really round that spine, drop your head. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. And now come into that half lift pose. From the base of your tailbone out the crown of your head. Really, really solid and strong here. And now exhale. Round that spine. Inhale, reach up, mountain pose. Exhale, go right back down, all the way down. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. I'm gonna bring my blocks close to me here. They are on the highest setting. You can also do this down on the ground with your hands on the ground. Keep your right foot in front. Step that left foot back to warrior feet. Right? So we're just here. Right toes are pointed forward. Left foot is at a 45 degree angle. Your front heel intersects the back arch. So line your feet up. Try to bring your right hip back and your left hip forward energetically. Right? And now from here, reach with your left hand and twist to the side. So this is a really nice dynamic pyramid pose. Reach and twist. 
twist, plus a nice spinal rotation. Hold this next one up, hold it right here. And now open up into triangle, your hips come back and you try to stack those shoulders one on top of the other. Let's do just a couple back strokes here with that left arm. Just kind of testing out your shoulder rotation work. Hold this next one up, float it down. Left hand wraps around either your right thigh or shin as you reach with your right hand and then twist back. So reach and twist. And if this doesn't feel good to you, um, you can certainly come up. You don't have to be in that uh, half lift position. Reach and twist, especially if it's causing any sort of pain in your lower back. Reach and twist, hold your twist. And now exhale, bring both hands down. One hand on either side of that right foot. Round your spine completely, please. So again, here in the forward fold position. Slowly begin to roll your body up, starting at the base of your spine. Notice how your spine feels after that. I just did all of that rotating, leading into that flexion, right? It's just doing a lot of things right now. So lift your back heel, pivot, and lower down. So now all 10 toes are pointed in the same direction. Press through the palms of your hands, up and back. Reaching up and back. Like you're doing some back strokes, maybe in a nice big body of water. Hold this next one back, interlace the fingers, drop those palms down, and reach up with your lovely, vulnerable, exposed, gorgeous heart, and then lead with that heart. Scary, sometimes unstable, feels that way. Grip on with your feet. Grip the ground, just like what we did at the beginning. Drop your head, nose to knee, possibly. And now slowly begin to roll your body up, starting with your eyes this time. And then your chin. And then your chest. Step your left foot in, meet me in mountain pose, please. Step forward. Reach up, exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, forward fold. Again, inhale, reach up, exhale, right back down. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, round that spine as much as you can here. Grab my blocks, highest setting. Step that right foot back, or your feet, and then a half lift in the spine. All right, so we were just having the spine really round now. It's lengthening. Left hip back, right hip forward. Adjust your feet as you need to. Left hand possibly on a block. Maybe up on your thigh, maybe down on your shin, okay? Find what works for you, just keep that core engaged. Reach with your right hand and twist to the right. So reach and twist, reach, hold this next one back. Nice deep spinal twist. You can hang out right here or you can open up into a triangle. Your hips shift back just a little bit back towards the back of the room. Take that right hand, float it all the way down. Now your chest, your eyes are forward, and then they come over to the left into reverse rotation. Left hand <laughs> reaches forward and twists. Left hand reaches and you twist. 
twist. I've tried to teach this backwards, you know, to mirror the people on Zoom. It's quite challenging. <laughs> Reach and twist. Hold your twist here, left hand pressing into the left side of your ribcage, right hand on your shin, your calf, possibly up on your thigh. And now slowly bring those hands down, one on either side of that left foot. Round that spine. Don't be afraid to lean into those blocks if you have them. And now roll your body up, starting at the base. If your eyes, your chin, your chest are last. Lift that back heel, pivot, and drop it back down. And now one arm at a time. We're getting close to the end, y'all. Up and back. Up and back. Interlace those hands at the base of your spine. Drop them down. Look up. And now lead forward with your heart as you peel forward. Modified humble warrior. If your palms are together, you can lift them up and over your spine, nose to knee, hands come back to the base of your spine as you begin to roll your body up, starting with your eyes, and then your chin, and then your chest. Nice deep breath in, and audible exhale out. Bring that right foot in front, please ankle bones are touching. I recommend finding a spot in your house, your space, ideally with a big window if you have one, and facing that. Because we're gonna end with some sun salutations. So inhale, reach up, mountain pose, and exhale, all the way down. Inhale, half lift and exhale, forward fold. One last time, please, inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, round your spine. Inhale, reach up, please, all the way up. Hands come together, right down to prayer. One hand on top of your heart the other hand on top of that, and just giving some gratitude to yourself for your ability and your willingness and your commitment to a practice, a movement practice of any kind has a tremendous positive impact on the body and the mind. I would argue the soul, but we can say that for another day. I appreciate all of you so much, wherever you are, whatever time it is, wherever you are located, for practicing with me. I really, really enjoy this class very much. Happy to lead it. We will be continuing this into March, but I might have to adjust the time because I get to work with that track team. So <laughs> it might be later on in the morning, afternoon. Anyway, it's still gonna happen. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful weekend.